Listen in and join the fun. Learning as we go, new words and stories. Adventures begun. Let's open up the pages. Don't have far to look. It's all in a book. Rupees. Reading room. Rupees. Why, hello, little readers. Welcome to Ruthie's Reading Room. I'm Ruthie, and I'm here with my buddy, Ja. He's my favorite stuffy, and he's joining us for story time today. Can I get a hooray? Oh, hooray. <laughs> All right, good job, little readers. And it's Black History Month. So another special episode in Ruthie's Reading Room where I'm going to highlight black history. Hooray, hooray, hooray. Okay, now that we know what the book will be about, a little hint in advance, <laughs> I'm going to invite you to run and get your stuffy or blanket and someone to read with. All right, let's all learn about black history together. Run and come back now. All right, my little readers are coming on back. Hop, skip, and a jump to come back. Love it. Okay, so are you ready? Three, two, one, let's ask the question. Which book is coming off the shelf next? Let's see. There we go. Jaw has it in his hot little paws. All right, let's read together. I am black history from A to Z. This book was written by Keisha Jenkins and the illustrations were done by 105 Publishing. Pretty cool, huh? All right, on the front cover, we have a few different black people, um, and they're dressed so nicely. So I think we're going to learn about them. What do you think? Yeah, so how do we find out? We've got to read the book. That's right. And we got to make sure we're ready. So Jaw's going to jump over to his reading spot and you get comfy in yours, okay? So we're going to put our listening ears on and put our hands in our laps and we're going to quiet down. Good job. I'm going to check. And I figure let's help my poor eyes out with these glasses. <laughs> I love them because they're so big. All right. Ah, look at all of you. Hello, Aisha. Good to have you. Yeah, I see you're there with your auntie. Hi, auntie. Good job. All right. I see a big crowd of little readers ready to listen to the story. High five for that. Okay, so I know that you're excited to hear all about black history. And so am I. There's never too much learning to be done. Because <laughs> we can learn something every single day and you still wouldn't learn everything. So we better get to work. All right, let's dive in. This book is dedicated to my son, Michael Jenkins III. As you journey through your teenage years, let your failures teach you perseverance and your victories teach you gratitude. Know that I will always have your back. May God always lead, guide, and protect you. Love, Mom. That's lovely. Grandma, can you tell me where I come from? Teach me my history? Come on, baby. I have some stories for you. I'll tell it from A to Z. Some of these stories are popular and some of them never heard. Let me let them tell you and share in their own words. Ali Muhammad, absolutely able to win any fight, not just ones in the boxing ring, but also the moral plight. I took a lot of heat for my controversial stand and refused to go to war for a country that hated me for my dark skin. They wouldn't let me fight, but my conscience was totally free. 
they could never take away the fact that I can float like a butterfly and sting like a bee. I am Muhammad Ali. Black Panthers, boldly we stand proud and strong, unashamed of our strength and of our intensity. Because we fought against hate and protected our own from danger in our communities. We are the Black Panthers Party. Claudette Colvin. Carefully, I took a stand even before Rosa. Do you know who she's talking about? Have any of you heard of Rosa Parks? I think a lot of us know that name in the civil rights movement from the United States, right? But probably not many of you have heard of Claudette Colvin. So we're going to learn some new things. All right. I knew it wasn't fair to give up my rights. I decided to fight so one day anyone could choose to sit anywhere. I am Claudette Colvin. Dominique Dawes. Destined and determined, I dance dutifully on the gym floor. One of the first black girls to win an Olympic medal in my sport. I didn't stop there. I went on to win many more. Yes, she did. Do some of you know Dominic Dawes? Probably. You've probably seen her do her gymnastics, right? And maybe some of you would like to do the gymnastics one day. That's great. And you can do it. I am Dominique Dawes. Evers Medgar. Eagerly, I solved crimes against black boys, girls, women, and men. Medgar Evers is my name. It was my passion to seek justice, find the truth, and celebrate victory when it came. My most famous case was for a boy named Emmett Till. The impact of his story remains influential still. I am Medgar Evers. So, there's a name I haven't heard, Emmett Till. So I'm going to encourage you to look that up after we're done the story. Find out who Emmett Till was. Learn about his story. And just keep adding to your knowledge bank. Ford Evan B. Fascinated by science and the ocean blue, I dove deep underneath the waves just to get a clue of how the waters and the land were closely related. I discovered how underwater volcanoes were created. I was the first African-American oceanographer to conduct research aboard a submarine. Now children all over the world can explore, chase, and discover their own dreams. I am Evan Ford. Greensboro 4. Gathering for lunch is not supposed to be a big deal, but we were hit and spat on just for ordering a meal. Yet, satisfying our appetites wasn't the real fight. We had to show the world that we deserve equal rights. We are the Greensboro 4. And if you don't know the full story, there's another group you can look at and see what impact they had on working towards equal rights for black people. Harry Belafonte. Having great talent brought me to fame. I used my stardom to confront oppression and then reclaim freedom for those with my shade of skin. I joined the fight against apartheid, the battle we would surely win. I am Harry Belafonte. And yet again, apartheid, is that a word you're familiar with? If not, Keep noting these words and people that you may not be familiar with and add it to your list of research topics. Keep adding to your knowledge, little readers. I'm Elmer. My imagination was ignited by the concept of energy. I wanted to understand how things worked and moved by forces we could not see. I led important experiments in the area of physics, leading me to become America's second African-American scientist. I am Elmer Imes. The jazzy sounds of the Harlem Renaissance were birthed by my pen. My newspaper voiced the cries of the struggle within. If I weren't bold enough to write it, no one else would hear or see the unfair acts and disparities in our community. There was one more thing that my pen could bring, the melodies of victory for us to sing. One of my most famous songs has a familiar ring. It's the Black National Anthem. Lift every voice and sing. Have you heard it? Well, since we're already on YouTube, 
Do a quick search and you'll be able to hear the Black National Anthem for yourself. I am James W. Johnson. Kit Ertha. Keenly I spoke freely with words that were elegant and bold. I told the story of my success and denounced injustice with words of gold. I spoke out against the Vietnam War and the U.S. government hated me. They tried to cancel me, but I survived by finding work internationally. When you have an important message, you'll get it out there some way, somehow. I am Eartha Kitt. Louis H. Latimer When you think about the light bulb, you can think of me. They've only told you about Edison, but in actuality, my help and expertise was the key to his success. One of the many things I've created through the U.S. patent process. Air conditioning and electric lamps are some things I've invented that you may not have known. I even worked with Alexander Graham Bell to create the telephone. Have you heard of Louis Latimer? Maybe not. I haven't. So I'm learning along with you. But we've all heard of Thomas Edison, haven't we? And Alexander Graham Bell? And that's something to keep in mind, little readers. There are names that become popular as far as who invented what or who did what first. But sometimes we have to dig a little deeper because oftentimes the stories of black men and women who were essential to different discoveries got erased from the history books and only what certain people wanted out there became part of our textbooks and the things that teach us our history. So you have to be careful or mindful about where we get our information and to look a little deeper into who may have been involved. And that's why this book is so important because I'm learning as well. I am Lewis Latimer. Mary McLeod Bethune. Many said we couldn't read. They said we couldn't write. They underestimated our greatness and failed to see our light. I walked eight miles every day in determination. I was drenched. I first educated myself and then the world. My thirst for knowledge cannot be quenched. I am Mary McLeod Bethune. Newman, Isaiah. Nobly I worked to end the divide between blacks and whites so in harmony we could abide. As a minister of the gospel, I wanted everyone to see that equality and justice was a matter of spirituality. So I preached and I prayed, led marches for progress, ran for office and created policies that put race relations on the path to success. I am Reverend Isaiah De Quincey Newman, Owens, Jesse. My outstanding performance in the United States Olympics captivated the world in the year of 1936. I broke records that no one else could beat, but my skill and talent could not save me from the heat. The heat that embracing friendship with another race would bring. I broke down social barriers in the face of Hitler's Nazi regime. My position in the spotlight displayed greatness and compassion. I didn't only run for myself, but so the world could follow my example in like fashion. I am Jesse Owens. Powell Colin. A polished gentleman that I might be, an American statesman and general in the United States Army. I served the country as an advisor, commander, and joint chief of staff. I was the first and so far the only Jamaican American to walk on these paths. I am Colin Powell. Quincy Jones. Quite masterfully, I produce music for entertainment and film. No one can deny my amazing musical skill. Across the span of seven decades, my gifts have inspired others and also pushed me towards being the first African-American producer to win many popular awards. The Lady and Her Music, Summer in the City, and even E.T. We are the world, the whiz, where all masterpieces most would agree. My accomplishments show that if you believe the dreams in your heart, you can achieve. I am Quincy Jones. 
Ruby Bridges. Rising above society's ridicule, I was the first little black girl to attend a whites only school. This change to our society was a very big deal. Not everyone loved the idea. They did not want to heal the separation that segregation demanded between the black and white race. But change was going to come by my bravery, and they would just have to face the fact that I too was created in the image of God, and I would succeed against all odds. I am Ruby Bridges. So as we continue to read, I want you to keep in mind these names that I'm calling out. These are names that are important to keep in your memory. They made decisions, oftentimes brave and bold moves, that changed the course or impacted the course of history and how black and white people interact today. Shabazz, Betty. Special is the woman who stood by Malcolm X's side, educating and celebrating African-American pride, advocating and organizing to build a black community, continuing her husband's mission to achieve for us equal opportunity. I am Betty Shabazz, Truth Sojourner. I tenaciously fought for freedom, escaped from slavery, and answered God's call to fight, changed my name from Isabella to Sojourner Truth, and declared to all what was right. Men say that women are to be treated special, but they didn't even consider me human. Did you hear that, little readers? Women weren't even considered as human beings. I challenged their beliefs and made them see that I too, sir, am a woman. I am Sojourner Truth, Underground Railroad. Some would say I was unsafe, a little dangerous in fact, but I was well worth the journey if you were black. Chains could not hold the black men and women who secretly traveled by me. Armed with determination, they took risks to reach freedom, which was their destiny. This is the Underground Railroad. Vasa Gustavus. Violently, I was taken from Nigeria to the Caribbean, but from the moment I arrived, I devised a brilliant plan to be independent of my captor and live my own life and be a leader of a movement that caused racism its strife. Though not in America, but in Great Britain, my mission and life's work helped bring the African slave trade to an end. I am Gustava Vasa. Wells, Ida B. Wholeheartedly committed to uncovering the truth and exposing the terrible lies about who was trying to hurt us and keep us down, my work ethic stands uncompromised. Journalism was my superpower. Through my writing and public speaking, all would know our plight. It would call us and our allies to keep our eyes upon the prize and stay true to this endless fight. I am Ida B. Wells. X. Malcolm. An example of excellent leadership, I was converted and reformed. I went against the grain to fight against the inhumane and confidently refused to conform. To some, my preaching seemed harsh and they just could not understand. They accused me of violence, demanded my silence, and ultimately it was betrayal I would have to withstand. I am Malcolm X. Young Andrew in my youth, I was a preacher and later became a politician. Influenced by Gandhi's message, nonviolence became my mission. I stood by Martin Luther King's side as we worked towards improvement of the relationship between blacks and whites in the civil rights movement. I am Andrew Jackson Young. Zora Neale Hurston. I was in my zone when studying black culture and the state of human beings. With my pen, I artistically portrayed our values, struggles, and victories in books and on the movie screen. My fictional writing became a central part within the Harlem Renaissance. Some of my most popular are How It Feels to Be Colored Me and Their Eyes Were Watching God. I am Zora Neale Hurston. We've made it through the alphabet and oh my goodness, look how much we've learned. 
Okay, this was awesome. Wow, Grandma, I never knew how important our people were. We don't learn much in school, and the things we do are such a blur. Isn't that true, little readers? How much of this do you learn? And I know this is mostly American-based, but in Canada as well. Do we hear much about Black history? Are the important people in Canadian Black history? Probably not so much, and it depends on which school, and even sometimes the teacher, and how much they're invested in learning and then teaching that material. So it's important to dig in for yourself and do your own research. So I love that you join me in Ruthie's reading room because I'm always trying to share that knowledge with you. All right, let's finish this book. There is more where that came from, baby, and the story continues with you. But as you see, you cannot make change without going through. Do you promise to make me proud? Of course I will, yes, ma'am. Knowing the struggles of my people and how they've overcome makes me proud to be who I am. The end. And I hope that's the case for you as well, little readers. There was so much great knowledge in this book. We learned about new names and groups and concepts that we may not be familiar with. So I'm going to encourage you to check in the description below. There's a link to where you can purchase this book. And I encourage you to do that. As I always say, keep adding to that knowledge. And Black history can be learned every day of the year, not just in February. So I encourage you to do that. And while you keep reading and doing your research and doing your little projects on the side, I hope you really enjoy the journey. And remember, the best place to read is wherever you are with a book. So John and I would like to invite you to subscribe to this channel, give us a thumbs up, and hit that notification bell. That way we can read together every story time. We love, love, love sharing these books with you. Happy reading, little readers. Goodbye. Ruthie's Reddit.